at our garden out back here again today. We looked at this about a week or so ago. We got our cucumbers. They're still climbing up our trellis system here. They're up to three feet or so high now. They were about two foot before. They're still climbing. Some of them are a little bit more than three feet. So they're still coming up like I want them to, growing up here. We got blooms. The last time we took a look out here, I said we should have some blooms opened up pretty soon. We got one. I hope y'all can see it here, right here. A little yellow flower. That's the bloom. These cucumbers, these actually have two different types of blooms or flowers. They have male blooms and female blooms. This particular one is a male bloom or male flower. I know that because there's no little tiny cucumber at the end of the bloom. It's just a bloom or flower on a little stem. If it was a female bloom, there would be a little cucumber instead of just a stem. There's not, so I know that's a male bloom. Because these have separate male and female blooms, these also have to be pollinated. That means we have to have some kind of uh, mostly insects, bees, honeybees are one of the biggest pollinators we have. They do most of the pollination. They have to get in the male flower and get pollen on them and then get in a female flower and transfer the pollen over. So without bees and other insects, birds also do pollination as well on flowers some plants, they don't own these much because the flowers are too small, so birds wouldn't mess with these much. But there's a number of different animals that will pollinate plants, so that's very important. The bees and things like that are real important. Without those, we wouldn't have any cucumbers. And there's a number of other plants in the cucumber family that are the same way, squash, pumpkins, watermelons, cantaloupes, all that kind of stuff, they're in the same general family and they have male and female flowers and they have to be pollinated. But we can see these things doing pretty good. On the other side of this, I'm going to move around in a minute and show you the beans we got and we'll look at some of the other plants out here as well. I'm going to start with the cucumbers. And you can see them, they're all about the same height 